Hi guys, welcome to Jurassic Collectibles. So I received a parcel in the post today. It was a bit of a mystery because I didn't order anything. Um, and it turned out to contain this. It's a Fossil Finds excavation kit. And uh, it comes from Gavin, the maker of my uh, prop uh, replica cane. My Hammond's cane. And uh, it's quite an interesting little kit. I've never seen these before. Um... It's uh, it's mainly for kids, but it's it's a way of uh, you being able to recreate um, a fossil dig site uh, on a miniature scale. So this is the packaging. As you can see, it says Fossil Finds Excavation Kit. Dig out your own dinosaur. So if we just open it up. Oh, and on the top there, it's got Collect Them All. So it's got loads of different types of dinosaurs. So I'm assuming I've got one of these in here. Um, I hope it's a Velociraptor, that would be awesome. Okay, so inside... Oh wow, look at this! So inside I've got um, a little brush, a little archaeologist brush, and it looks like a, a wooden stake. Oh no, it's a little chisel. It's a little wooden chisel. For a moment there I thought I was going to go and do some uh, some vampire slaying, but no, it's uh, it's a wooden chisel. But yeah, that looks great cool so it comes with its own kit which is uh, something I didn't expect and then inside it looks like we've got it looks like a bar of soap but it's not it looks a lot like a bar of soap if you ask me but it says here uh, dig it out uh, don't mind if I do um, so yeah I'm gonna take this and uh, unwrap it and I'm gonna have a go at, at digging this guy out okay back in a bit so obviously if you're uh, doing this digging. It's a good idea to use newspaper and I've just noticed that um, there's a number six there. I don't know if that's giving away what type it is but there are six dinosaurs so I'm wondering if it's Diplodocus. I don't know though. It could be any of them really. Okay I've got my tools out and I'm ready to go. I would just like to say thank you uh, so much to, to Gavin for sending this free of charge. Um, it's a really delightful gift and uh, it makes great material for my channel. So um, I'm assuming you just start wherever you want. I'm just going to stick the chisel in. And you can see it's already uh, breaking out a little bit. So I think this is going to need quite a lot of work for me to to get in. It's, I mean, I'm applying quite a lot of force. And uh, you can see I'm just scratching the surface. So I'm going to dig at this for a little bit uh, over a film. And uh, I'll get back to you with my progress in a minute. So, after a good while of digging and, and watching a film, here's what I've discovered. I'm not sure how clearly you can see what this is, but the, the head is here. Here's the chest running along to the tail, and there's two legs and two arms here. And uh, basically what we've got here, from looking at the uh, the skull part, is a Pachycephalosaurus. I can tell because it's got these two little bumps on the back of the head and the dome-like skull, and I've had a look at the pictures on the box, and uh, that's the closest one I can find. Now, funnily enough, mine actually came with two heads. Um, so whether I found a uh, a clutch of baby uh, Pachycephalosaurus, I don't know. But um, it was really fun digging this thing out. I mean, um, the the material is just the right sort of uh, uh, makeup of, of, of dirt and rock, if you know what I mean. It crumbles very easily. It's like plaster, really. But it's got just the right sort of consistency that when you're digging it out, it's it's a lot of work, but also it's very fine, so you can brush it off and uh, delve deeper if you want to. So I think for you know for young kids who are interested in paleontology, this is a really good little kit. I would say there's some quality control issues. The parts are supposed to kind of fit together. Unfortunately, due to the the nature of the plaster, it gets in all those holes, and it's actually hard to sculpt those those areas out to make sure the parts fit. And even when I had done that, the ends, some of the ends haven't been sort of cleaned up. There's like a little bit of plastic flashing, which means that when you try and fit the pieces together, 
it doesn't necessarily work. But I mean, in terms of a, a, a you know, a dig, I, I prefer to lay them out like this anyway, like you've found bits of a skeleton. So I'm not too fussed about that. Uh, but also the, the plastic was a bit fragile. So if you were, um, you know, digging with a chisel, and I found at one point I was trying to split a piece of rock, um, and actually it split uh, a piece of plastic. I think it was a spare piece of plastic or another leg, because um, I've got all the pieces I need here, but um, I noticed a bit split off. So the plastic is fragile, and really if you're digging and you're cracking through rock, you want to make sure that the, the bone is strong enough to withstand that cracking. But um, apart from that, great little kit. And uh, I believe um, Gavin has uh, had a bit of a brainstorm and uh, might have some of his own soon. Um, so it's worth keeping an eye on his channel. I'll put the link below. Um, but thanks ever so much, Gavin. This is a great little kit. And... Uh, I'd highly recommend it for fans of Jurassic Park um, and uh, young kids that are interested in, in paleontology. I think it's a great little kit and uh, it's a lot of fun. Okay guys, rate, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.